I understand the large hearts of heroes, the courage of present times and all times, how the skipper saw the crowded and rudderless wreck of the steamship and death chasing it up and down the storm, how he knuckled tight and gave not back an inch and was faithful of days and faithful of nights and chalked in large letters on a board, be of good cheer, we will not desert you. How he saved the drifting company at last, how the lank, loose-gowned woman looked when boated from the side of their prepared graves, how the silent, old-faced infants and the lifted sick and the sharp-lipped, unshaved men, all this I swallow. It tastes good. I like it well. It becomes mine. I am the man. I suffered. I was there. Lodge. Eighteen fifty four. The ship, the San Francisco, is wrecked in the Caribbean. Over four hundred souls are lost. A brave captain risks his own life to save over a thousand survivors. This is the story Mr. Whitman is memorializing. Be of good cheer. We will not desert you. Mr. Whitman is telling us that just as calamity has a power to destroy, it has a power to unite. How? We simply must swallow whole the life experience of our brothers and sisters. We must be able to look on another and see ourselves and say, as Mr. Whitman does, I was the man. I suffered. I was there. We are so glad to welcome you back into our company, Mr. Milligan. <laughs>